Don't worry, Banjo. Forget about what the people say. You're all we want. Before we get started with the video, give it a thumbs up, bro. All right, we have some big news for this video. First, we finally have the name of Xbox's next gen consoles, and it's simply called Xbox. That's right, I think it's perfect. Now, when they had the reveal trailer, it was called Xbox Series X. And I told dudes on Twitter, I said two things. I said, if this is the final name of the console, Series X, horrible name. It's going to be on the Wii U level. But it has Series right in the title, making it obvious that this isn't going to be the name of this one specific console. It's going to be a family of systems with individual unique names. And that's right, Xbox. The next generation of console will be simply called Xbox. And this also confirms there's going to be multiple versions of next gen Xbox consoles with different names for each console. So, as more is, more is revealed this coming year, E3, if Xbox has their own separate presentation, they're probably gonna start naming each individual console. Call this the Xbox Bazooka. Put it on the shoulder. Boom! The Xbox Bazooka and the Xbox Shotgun. <laughs> no, that's too violent. Um, but, I like it. Microsoft is going for simplicity, bro. The console design, I'm in love with it. It's just simple. It's a straight rectangle. And the name, simple. Just Xbox. At first, I thought it was going to be too complicated for your auntie and your grandma. I don't know which Xbox to get. Oh, it's going to be confusing. The X, I thought X was already out. But now you can just walk into the store and say... I want the latest Xbox, and the GameStop employee will know exactly what you mean. I think this is perfect. So far, so far, Microsoft, boop, you're hitting it out the ballpark. Y'all lost me at the beginning of the last generation with the whole ESPN TV stuff. Come on, bro. We just want to play our games, and the console cost $500, and it was less powerful than the PlayStation 4. What were y'all doing? But it seems like they're on the right track this generation simplicity make it simple bro don't um, over complicate stuff that's what nintendo did with the switch just call it the switch we knew exactly what that meant it switches from home they, they the message was straightforward and so so far so good now i want to see what games will be on the system sunua's sacrifice a uh, saga i know why they revealed that game to show off the power it looked crazy good. But that game really isn't my cup of tea. Um, there are a lot of other um, Xbox IPs that I really want. And there are a couple that are coming out at the beginning of, of next year that I'm going to be hyped for, like Ori. But we want Banjo, Banjo, Banjo and Kazooie revive that series, bro. Fable 4. We already know that a new Forza game is going to be at launch. We already know Halo 6 is going to be at launch. And so... If they have the games, they've invested in their first party studios. They have the games. They already have the infrastructure. When it comes to online services, no one comes close to Xbox. Um, what they offer, achievements, voice chat, all that stuff. They give you what you want. All right, we're going to talk about their services in a second because we're going to talk about this DualShock 4 attachment, bro. Oh, my goodness. The news just came from nowhere. So, uh, Sony has announced... An attachment for the DualShock 4. Couple things come to mind. First, it looks clean. It looks cool. They copied um, <laughs> Microsoft with the Elite Controller. 
for the elite controller um on the back you, you have adjustable paddles where you could program um different paddles but i like it everything on it's an attachment it's only 30 bucks it's a touch screen and you just attach it for more customizations on the back of your controller which is pretty cool but you know what this is um letting me know this is going to be a standard feature on the dualshock 5. the dualshock 5 is going to have something like this on the back of the controller hence why this attachment is coming out now so you can still use your dualshock 4 possibly on the dualshock 5 just like how xbox I'm still going to be using this Elite um, 2 controller when the new Xbox co comes out. This is the best controller known to man. I don't care what anybody says. And this is going to be compatible with the next gen, the Xbox, the next gen Xbox. Simplicity. Perfect. Um, and I think it's going to be the same thing with the DualShock 4. That's why this attachment is coming out now, getting dudes ready uh, for when... Uh, Sony unveils it. I'm interested to see what Sony offers with the PlayStation 5. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. All right. Next news item. Witcher 3. One of the best games this generation is now free on Game Pass. And I was talking about the services Xbox offers. They have the best um, subscription service, in my opinion. Game Pass. Tons of bang for your buck. Witcher 3, you can get it right now if you're a Game Pass subscriber. One of the best games this generation. I think this game is right behind Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, this game is the second best ge game this generation. All right. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, you see the segue? That's the YouTube skills, boy. Bruh. At first, I thought we were going to be getting Breath of the Wild next year. Sony and Xbox, they focus on hardware. They're going to launch their new consoles and Nintendo software. And I thought Breath of the Wild would be the compete. It still can be. This is just all my speculation. But the news is Monolith Soft is still recruiting staff, new staff for Zelda Breath of the Wild, specifically technical artists, programmers, planners designers and management support this makes me feel like the game might not be coming out um holiday this year one is zelda games are notorious for being delayed breath of the wild was delayed a million times and so i think just the fact that they're still hiring for these for planners i, I don't think the game is, looks like it's going to be launching in 20 um 2020 as i thought it would be so interesting to see what is nintendo going to have on the slates for next year so far we know we got animal crossing um but um the next nintendo direct will reveal more of their plans for 2020 but it does not looking good for zelda to be launching in holidays i'm just saying also also dope 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 deal i have to let you guys know the xbox sad edition it looks so sad not so sad anymore it's only 150 bucks that's right the xbox one s all digital edition is now back to the black friday prices this is the price the console should have launched at in the first place only 150 bucks bro 150 bucks you can get a brand new xbox and the only drawback is no disc drive you get all your games digital i get all my games digital anyway so i don't care and the last news item for this video untitled goose game right after this video i'm probably going to download it it's now on game pass i keep telling you guys game pass is the best uh service in the gaming industry right now um this game launched on the switch great good um a great selling game on the switch not really my cup of tea but it's free it's already my subscription i'm gonna download it and try the game out all right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.